My name is Jeff Mraz. I am one of the owners of Kegro Brewing Company in Bloomington, Illinois. Uh, we've been open for just over four years now. Uh, we started brewing about 10 plus years ago in my driveway as a group of friends. Things progressed and uh, now here we are. Way back in the beginning, um, we wanted to do something a little different. And what we figured and started experimenting with is using larger amounts of corn in beers. So corn is a common uh, adjunct ingredient in beers um, like uh, cream ales and pilsners and different styles. It's not in a lot of styles, but it can be. Um, so what we ended up doing is we did a lot of like um, pilsners, like we did the cup check for the uh, normal corn belters. Um, that's a pilsner with a little bit of corn in it. Our Duke cream ale has a little bit of corn in it. Um, our wheat series, like Holy Jeans, has a little bit of corn in it. So it's becoming a common element. So we kept playing around with corn and we developed two beers. The first one was uh, corn fused. It's about 45% corn um, and 55% uh, barley. And it's a rather high amount of corn. And we brewed it up and uh, we loved it. It was uh, a little more crisp, a little more Americana, if you will. Uh, so we really love that beer and we brew it every summer. But the other one we brewed up, um, which is a pretty good fan favorite of ours is King Corn. Uh, King Corn is a double IPA, usually between eight and nine percent alcohol, and it is also 45 percent corn, um, but it's also aggressively hopped with citra and uh, mosaic hops. So the corn we use um, is flaked corn. It's already cereal, and what that means is it's already been heated up to a certain point where the starches um, become compatible with the enzymes that barley produces when it's heated so that those enzymes will eat the starches in the corn in order to turn them into sugars. And then those sugars are fermented, making it beer. Thank you, wishing all of you and the Illinois farmers a happy International Beer Day. Cheers.